And now we will learn the billing requirements for utilities in mobile home communities. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. Owners of mobile home communities have regulations on how they charge and collect for electricity. Each tenant or occupant must have their own meter. Landlords must charge what is on the meter, no more, no less. Usually there is a fixed cost per month plus a charge per usage. As soon as the landlord charges the tenant for the electricity, which means he put the electrical charge on the invoice, then the landlord is immediately, owe, immediately responsible and owes the electricity cost whether the tenant pays or not. So what's really happening? Well, the tenant uses the electricity. The landlord owes the electric company at the minute the tenant uses the electricity. So you need to put an account in the chart of accounts called electric costs payable. And that account should be a current liability type of account. Let's take a look. Just like we learned before, we click list chart of accounts and then in the bottom left we click account new. Now this type of account is other current liability. Other current liability because we're going to pay it soon. Quick click continue and then we type in the name which is electric costs payable. Elect electric costs, let's make it capital, electric costs payable. There we go. Now we have an account in the chart of accounts that represents the money that the landlord owes to the electric company as soon as they charge the tenant for the electricity. So we have to bill the tenant. The tenant's balance goes up by the amount of electricity charge that we put on the invoice. When we put the electricity item on the invoice, the landlord owes the electric company the money for the tenant's electricity. What we have to do is make an item on the items list that is connected to the liability account that we made and that will give us the ability to fulfill these billing and reporting requirements. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like we learned and used several times, list, items list, and in the bottom left button of the items list we click item, new. Now, this is a service because we're providing electrical service and we'll type electricity place flat monthly. So this item will represent the flat charge per month regardless of how much they use. And for now we'll put $25 a month. It means no matter what they pay $25 a month and then additional to that they pay for the usage. Now we'll click the post. By the way you could change this on the invoice or come back and change this anytime. But we click this in the pull down and we connect this account to the only current liability we have, electric costs payable. Then we click next. Now we're going to put another item, electric chart, electric chart, uh, electric, electricity, electricity usage charge which means this will be multiplied by the electric unit and let's say on the most recent bill 0.50 it was 50 cents a watt or an amp or a volt or whatever unit the electric company charges on 
It's 50 cents each one. So now we have two items that are connected to the liability account. One is the flat fee and the other is the usage. Some people like to lump them together and then just adjust it on the invoice, but I think it's better for the tenant to see how it's broken down in case there's any discrepancies later on. For example, let's imagine on March 1, we made a new arrangement with Ellen to bill her for electricity the way mobile home community owners must do. There's a $25 flat fee for electricity plus her current voltage, wattage, ampage, usage, whatever. On March 31, we read the meter and we see that she used 60 watts, or let's just say 60 units of electricity, and the electric company bills at 50 cents per unit. We will add this charge to the March 31st invoice. So, Ella's next invoice is March 31st, so we click Invoice, and we fast forward to March 31st, and be careful in our little story, it's March 21st of 2020. Now, we agree with rent receivable because if we look at the rent balance report and we scroll down for Ellen, we can see she has a positive balance at the moment we're making this invoice. So we agree that it should be rent receivable. And then the tenant is Ellen, and we have almost all the information we need. So her regular monthly rent, I happen to remember, was 2000 per month. But we have to add to this invoice the electricity flat fee, which is $25 a month, and we also have to add to this invoice the electricity usage. It's 50 cents a unit, and the instruction specifically said that we used 60 of those units during March. So you type in 60 in the quantity field on the row of the item of electric usage, and to save just the field without losing the window, go to the left of your keyboard and push tab. Now you have the electricity flat fee plus the electricity usage plus the original rent on one invoice. Look what happens when you click save and close. When you go to your trial balance, you see that electric costs payable shows up for the very first time as $55. This is the first time you've charged electricity, so it's the first time that you owe this liability to the electric company because of your tenants. And now finally, on April 5th, we paid the electric company what we owe specifically for the tenant's electricity. So how do we do that? Well, it says that the... Uh, Electric costs payable are $55, so we have to write a check to the electric company in New York. The name is Con Edison. It's only for example. And we have to make it for $55. And again, in our little story, it's April 5th of 2020. And this time we are not, I repeat, we are not going to put electric expense because it is not our expense. We are paying what we owe in electric costs payable for the tenant. So we're decreasing this liability. The cash will go down because we're paying it, and the amount of electric costs payable that we owe as a result of the tenant we will go down because we are now paying it. We are paying the tenant's electricity not our own, and not the general electricity of the building. When we click Save and Close, you can see that electric cost payable has gone down to zero because we just paid it.